nothing to her. I'm about to show y'all the video. I did not say nothing to her at all, y'all. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, You Love Eileen, and today I'm back here with another video. And today, I'm going to be giving y'all a story time, you know, hyping y'all up. Give y'all a little bit of feed on a story time on my life. Get y'all caught up and let y'all know what's going on, what's really going on, what's good, what's good, what's good. If you're new to my channel, smash that subscribe button, you know, smash that like button, you know, share this video and go spill tea with y'all friends. But my subscription, I mean my, um, my Instagram and stuff gonna be in the description below so y'all can follow me on Instagram and, um, you know, catch up with me on that. But when no more talking, we're gonna get straight into this video because I know y'all read this title and y'all already want to know what's tea, what's really going on, like what would happen. Okay, y'all, hopefully, my hair can still like this. Okay, y'all, because I didn't fix my hair, kind of you know, got it to look a little decent. But we're gonna get straight into the video. So basically, I got suspended in seventh grade and middle school. And, um, everybody know when you get to middle school, everybody just messy, um, you got girls dating everybody, boyfriend, you got everybody that just don't like everybody, like, typical middle school drama, you know, but I'm not gonna cap to y'all, I was messy in seventh grade. The tea is exceptionally good today. But we gonna get into this story, y'all. So, um... I don't know if I should say a girl name. I'm not gonna say her name. I'm not gonna say, I'm not gonna say her name. I'm not gonna say her name. I'm not gonna be messy. Shut up. But it started with an A. Um, the girl I had been off her own with. I had beef, been beefing with her for the longest. She had liked this boy that I had called myself liking, and I ended up dating him. Now he was new to um the middle school that I went to, and I was the first to pick up. I was the first to cuff. You know, so everybody was mad. The boy was really pretty, um, not pretty, but cute in middle school. But now I look at him today, I'd be like, uh, like, but me and the boy, we close, we cool, but we don't, none of that. But okay, okay, okay. So, I had called myself dating him, and me and him had been off and on. So, while we were off and on, they start talking. So... I'm just sitting here thinking like we are not the same. Like we are not the same. Oh, we are not the same. I'ma forever have him. You just there for the moment. So she didn't like me. So um, me and him ended up actually really breaking up, and um, she had picked him up. So I'm like, I had him first. So ain't no snatchies or none of that. But I hit that. <laughs> Messy, bitch. Messy. So typical mindset, like girl, I had him first. I'm not worried. Da, 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 da. Messy little drama, whatever. So the girl and him started dating. He was still texting my phone. <coughs> she didn't like me. Um, but that summer before, I had ended up beating her friend up. I beat her friend up. Um, if you haven't watched that video before, go watch that video. I didn't post it on my fighting videos. But anyway, the girl had got beat up. I beat her up the summer before. And so, um, yeah, I beat her up the summer before. So, with that being said, she um, didn't like me. So, what really, what, I think what it really was was, I mean, I can't even talk. What it really was is she didn't like me because I had him first. So she thought she could talk her stuff because me and the boy had broke up. And now that she had picked him up. But that's just childish middle school stuff. So I'm going to give her props because that's, she picked him up. Okay. But um, they had started dating so she didn't like me. So we continued to argue on Snapchat. And the little girl had anger problems. Like, little girl wore crochet. I was not tripping. Though. Like, the girls who wear crochet are dangerous i'm telling you they're dangerous don't mess with them at all but let me get to the story let me just get to the story let me get to the story let me get to the story one day we was in pe no yeah about that week we was in pe and the girl had continued to argue with me we would continue to post on snapchat and go back and forth because that's what middle school people do they argue on snapchat argue on kick because we was arguing on kick and gonna cap was arguing on that kick messages you know that little typical relationship so, um, 
the girl we had we had the same P class. So we had P class, which was in our third period, third or fourth period, third or fourth. So um, the girl was talking reckless up in the um the locker room while we was getting ready. So the coaches they really they mess with me, you know. They always just like they just mess with me like that. They cool. It was just like just sitting there watching us argue. She was just like, "What's up? What what's up now? Like, what what, what you want to do?" And I'm just sitting there like, "Bro, what are you talking about, man? Are you serious?" So I'm just sitting there like, "Girl, what you want to do? Like, come up a little closer. Like, come on, come up a little closer." Cause my mama told me, "Don't hit nobody unless they all up in your face or they all up on you. Don't just start on just they spit on you. They get up in your face." Knock them straight up and they jump. So, or if they walk up on you. So, don't ever let nobody walk up on you. Because I'm telling you right now, if you let somebody walk up on you, you're a, that's a dead miss. You're going to get beat up. So, don't ever let nobody come up in the distance. Like, let them be, they close to that, boom, knock, knock them out. Don't, don't, don't even let them hit you. Because a deadly hit can be the first hit. So, don't ever let nobody hit you first. So, she was sitting there arguing with me and, um... Ooh, she was sitting arguing with me, and we went to PE class. We was playing kickball. So, we just stopped talking. Like, she did not say nothing to me that whole time. Um, she ended up saying that she was going to catch me sometime or whatever. And I took that as a threat. So, keep in mind, y'all, I had gotten into one fight. I didn't think I could beat somebody up. The only time, the only reason why I thought I could beat the one girl up is because she was smaller than me. She was, like, a little bit smaller than me. So, I'm like, that's an easy dub. Like, And then she pushed up to my house, so I had to do her. So, the girl that I'm arguing with is the same height as me, y'all. So, I'm like, bro, I'm about to get beat up. But I'm like, I'm going to still fight. I don't care. I'm not going to let anybody disrespect me or find me at school and let me go out bad. So, we had got um, dressed and everything. And um, we went, uh, we started walking back. Like, walking out the um, the uh, locker room. Because the PE class was like an hour and some minutes. So, here we go, y'all. We leave, we walk, from, I'm telling you, I walked all the way from out the gym, all the way by the art room. Now, let me tell y'all, this is like a three-minute walk. The girl had to be, well, I don't know what she was doing, but I was one of the last people at the locker room, so I never seen her this whole time I was walking out the hallway. So, let me tell y'all, I'm walking down the hallway, and all I hear is clapping and somebody just talking. So, keep in mind, I had called my mom after this period, and I told her, like, yo, this this girl, she took me, she want to fight me, this and that. And my mom was like, don't let, don't let nobody touch you. Don't let anybody get in your face. Don't let nobody do nothing to you. So, typical mom stuff, you know, black moms, they not finna let nobody um beat their daughter up or anything. So, with that being said, I'm walking down the, um, down the hallway or whatever. And she coming down with a group of friends. Now, I don't know what she thought she was doing. I think she wanted attention. But keep in mind, she is talking to the boy that I used to date. I think she was trying to impress him. Matter of fact, I don't even know where he was at in the video. I think he was at his class. But he still be laughing to this day. I don't know who she was trying to impress. Let me tell you, baby. She walked. She all up in my face, right? Let her get up and, you know, let her get up close enough. She just talking. So, my friend, he next to me, right? I had her phone in my hand and some papers. So, the girl up in my face talking, I let her talk in my face for a little bit. Because I'm like, you know what, bro? You didn't brought these people over here to me. You didn't brought a section of people to me. I'm not going to let you just disrespect me like this in front of everybody. So, I, hand, I did not say nothing to her. I'm about to show y'all the video. I did not say nothing to her at all, y'all. Handed the papers to my friend. I cocked my hand back like this. Made sure I gripped their hair real good. Boom, boom, boom. I was done all the game. And you know I got that crazy footwork. So he did a little, oh, a little circle around. And I was, ah, 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 ah. Just punching him. So then I had got the grip. Like I gripped it so good, bro. I'm telling you, I gripped her hair so good. And I held her down. I was just banging on her stuff. You know, then I had the teacher. His name was like Coach something. 
I'm gonna forget, but he had grabbed me. And Shorty tried, Shorty tried to hit me after he grabbed me. And, you know, I took my little swing over him. Boom, hit her again. Like, she just was crying. She was screaming, like, doing extra stuff. Like, girl, you just got beat up. Shut up. And I was calm, calm about it. Look, I, I had my little tears. You know, I was a little crybaby back in middle school. I cried. And they had took me to this classroom. Got the phone and paper like it was nothing. I walked off. I handled my business and I was done. <laughs> Bitch, you ugly yeah. my life. So I walked over to the class and they sat me down. The girl in the hallway screaming like something wrong, like she delusional or something. So the police officer came down and put her in handcuffs. Um, she made it seem like she was doing something. So keep in mind, y'all, I did not get suspended before. So I just fought somebody for the first time. Never been to the principals, but I ended up getting in. I, no, I ended up getting into another fight, but that's a whole different story. But um. I'm like, this girl delusional. So they ended up taking me to the office. The principal came and got me. Now, I seen the principal one time because this girl had claimed I had bullied her. And I ended up getting in trouble for that. But it wasn't no suspension or nothing. So, um, what happened was, I ended up going to the principal's office. They had ended up writing me up for 10 days. I got to spend it for 10 days, y'all. I was crying. My mom was going crazy because what happened was, the situation was supposed to be brought up by the teachers. If the teachers saw us arguing, they was not supposed to suspend me. They were supposed to report it to the principal's office or send it to the principal's office. So it was not my responsibility to get in trouble. So they ended up getting talked talk to and whatever, and I ended up getting suspended. And I ended up going to the coach's office, that which I had, which grabbed me. And he was just saying how that just wasn't me. And um, I, he hope I'm okay. And such and such, but I didn't give it up, so I don't know what he was talking about. But I ended up getting suspended, y'all. Um, but I handled my business, I didn't get in trouble. But um, that's it for this video. If you're watching, and if you are still watching, I love you so much. And as I said in the beginning of the video, smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, share this video, be messy, and show y'all friends. But if you're into my channel, thank you for watching. Go ahead and hit the, hit the subscribe button for real and join this family because I'm always here with the bangers. And I love y'all and I will see y'all in the next video.